thoracic aneurysms are in the chest and uh, again usually asymptomatic uh, sometimes we can see them on chest x-ray uh, if someone gets a routine chest x-ray there'll be a shadow that will be an abnormality and uh, they're more difficult to fix and have more morbidity with the surgery but currently we have uh, endovascular techniques that allow us to fix these aneurysms without opening the chest um, and this is a uh, a typical graph that we might put in. Uh, normally, to fix a thoracic aneurysm, we would have to open the chest, and 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 this is the thoracic aorta here, uh, and we would have to uh, open the chest and then sew a graft into the thoracic aorta to exclude the aneurysm. Uh, with these new techniques, we have grafts that that compress, and you can see how this compresses, and we can get this up through the legs and bring it in inside the chest and then deploy it and it'll sit something like this and it'll exclude an aneurysm uh, in the thoracic aorta and makes the repair a, a lot easier and the recovery uh, period a lot quicker. We, we screen a lot of people who are at risk for aneurysms, for instance people with uh, uh, atherosclerotic occlusive disease elsewhere are, are at risk for aneurysms and uh, people who have undergone coronary artery bypass are at risk for aneurysms so we do uh, routine screening in our office with ultrasound which is a painless non-invasive technique uh, that can screen for the most common type aneurysms which are aneurysms in the abdominal aorta. Once we know that the patient has an aneurysm we have to determine when they are a candidate for repair and really that's going to depend on the size of the aneurysm, how big the uh, aorta or blood vessel has gotten in comparison to what its normal size should be. We can repair almost all aneurysms pretty pretty safely now. Um, there are there's some that don't need repair because they've not reached the size where they are they're at risk for rupture. But pretty much once the aneurysm reaches the appropriate size, we recommend repair. If we do it open, the recovery period is is about five to seven days in the hospital. When we do it with the endovascular techniques that we have, uh, they can leave the hospital the next day and resume normal activities the next day.